Hi guys, it's Amy. So every golfer wants more distance. So I have prepared a series of lessons to help you gain distance. So today we're gonna go back to the basics and I'm going to show you how to get into your power setup. Okay, first, let's start with the stance. I have a seven iron in my hand, so I want your stance to be shoulder width apart. If it's a little bit too wide, what happens is you can't quite weight shift properly in the downswing, so you will lose some distance because of that. Or if you have it too narrow, what happens is you're going to lose your balance throughout the whole golf swing, so you don't want to do that either. Okay, for ball position, for seven iron, you either want it in the middle of the stance or slightly left of the middle. Um, I know a lot of people put it right of the middle for seven irons. Uh, that's more like the old school, like 80s style. If you do this and you use your body properly on the way down, uh, most likely you're not gonna catch it quite square. So what happens with a lot of amateurs is that they start using less and less body and more and more arms, which we don't want to do that if we want to maximize distance and power, right? So if your ball position is correct in the middle or a little bit left, the more body you can use and the more square you'll come into the golf ball, okay? So let's remember the ball position. Now, uh, let's get into talking about the distance from yourself to the golf ball. It's very important. Um, if you stand too close to the golf ball, what happens is there's not enough room and it's gonna be very uncomfortable for you to use your body a lot this way because it's hard to get back to the ball if you use a lot of body. So eventually a lot of people start swinging more arms and you know if you hit it with the arms only, what's gonna happen is the ball's not gonna fly as high or carry as far. So we want the body involved in the golf swing so we cannot stand too close to the golf ball. If you're too close to the golf ball, you're gonna try and do everything to make some kind of room right here and you can slouch like this C posture and you can put your weight in the heels to make some kind of room. If you do this, what happens is if your back is round and you do a lot of turning and twisting, you will most likely uh, hurt your back, which we don't want. So we want our back to be straight. If your weight is in the heels, that's also more the classical style, a lot of um, 80s style people put the weight in the back in the heels. If you do this, what happens is there's force pulling you back. So during your golf swing, you'll most likely kind of get out of your posture and go further away from the golf ball. So you will either top it or you'll try and make up that distance by dipping down like this and hit it fat. So if you have your weight more in the ball as your feet, there's more force going toward the golf ball. So it's easier to stay down throughout the whole golf swing. So that's what we want, right? And if you're too far away from the golf ball, then you're going to spend all your energy trying to balance and trying to make some kind of contact with the golf ball. You've seen a lot of people do this or lose balance. So we don't want to stand too far away either. So we have to find the correct angles in your body so we can find the correct distance from the golf ball to yourself. In order to do that, um, I'm going to show you a couple things you need to pay attention to. So okay, so let's stand shoulder width apart and let's pretend this is a clock here. This is 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and 9 o'clock. So when you bend from the hips, your head wants to point at 1 o'clock, like this. And when you bend your knees, I don't want you to just bend whatever. This is actually quite important right here. When you bend your knees, you know where your toes are and you know where your uh, balls, your feet are, right? you want to use your knee bend to press into the walls of your feet, like that. So if you do this correct, you will have pressure in five spots, like this, in the balls of your feet, one, two, in your quads, three, four, in your low back, five, okay? So you want to have pressure in the five spots. If you bend too much at the knees, that doesn't mean you're gonna put extra pressure in your quads. Uh, if you try it, actually you're gonna feel it more in your knees and less in your low back. So you want to press down just enough to put pressure in the balls of your feet, kind of upper quads and your low back like this. And if you let your arms hang like this, they're kind of perpendicular to the ground, you want to grab the club just slightly in front of the perpendicular. 
This angle is going to actually vary depending on how tall you are, how, how long your arms and legs are. So if you're tall, you're probably, the club's going to probably be short like this. Then your angles are going to get deeper and your hands are probably going to be a lot closer to your knees. You see that? But if you're short, obviously you're going to stand like you're grabbing a driver and you're going to have less angles. You're going to be a lot taller, right? So I want you to do a lot of mirror work, get used to the angles and the uh, pressure in five spots. All right, so before I finish up the lesson here, I want to give you a quick tip. Um, when amateurs set up to the golf ball, out on the golf course, you probably see this a lot. A lot of amateurs put their feet down first and then set up to the golf ball. If you do this, sometimes you're too far away from the golf ball, sometimes you're too close. It's not very consistent to set up that way to the ball. A lot of pros, you'll notice that they put the club down first and then they put their feet out like this. This is the uh, probably most ideal way to set up to the golf ball because then you can gauge the distance from yourself to the golf ball better. So what you want to do is you want to grip first, put the club head down, get into your setup angles like this, feel the five spots, and then you're going to gauge how close or how far you feel from the golf ball and you're going to go boom into your setup. This might feel a little awkward at first, but really work on your pre-shot routine so you get more familiar with that order of setup, so that way you can really get consistent at setting up to the golf ball. I hope you're able to follow along. Um, I really expect you guys to do a lot of mirror work so you can really get that power setup going on so we can pick up some more distance. If you have any questions, um, you can come visit me on my Instagram, Facebook, or my website and uh, ask away all your questions. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next lesson.